This country is home to the highest peak and the largest lake in Africa. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at Tanzania, a vibrant East African country known for its diverse landscapes, rich cultural tapestry, and unique wildlife. Join us as we delve into its geography, history, and people. Tanzania is located on the eastern coast of Africa along the Indian Ocean. It shares borders with Kenya and Uganda to the north, Rwanda, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west, and Zambia, Malawi and Mozambique to the south. It has a varied geography consisting of plains, highlands and the Great Rift Valley. It can also be divided into several distinct geographical regions. There are flat coastal plains along the Indian Ocean which are hot, humid, and fertile for agriculture. Inland lie the Eastern Arc mountain ranges and volcanic peaks like Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Meru, which reach over 19,000 feet high. To the west is the Great Rift Valley system of lakes and steep escarpments. Much of central Tanzania consists of a highland plateau averaging 3,000 to 6,000 feet above sea level with cooler temperatures, favorable for wildlife and national parks. Tanzania possesses many lakes, rivers, and watershed areas. Major drainage basins include those of Lake Victoria in the north, Lake Tanganyika in the far west, and Lake Nyasa in the southwest. The country also contains Africa's deepest lake, Lake Tanganyika, as well as its longest lake, Lake Nyasa. Major rivers are the Pangani River and Rufiji River, which empty into the Indian Ocean. The Rufiji is the longest river contained wholly within the country. Tanzania has a tropical climate ranging from coastal to temperate inland. Coastal areas are hot and humid year-round, with temperatures ranging from 70 degree to 90 degree F during the day and 50 degree to 60 degree F at night. The Highland Plateau experiences cooler rainy seasons and drier seasons more suitable for wildlife viewing. Due to the varied terrain, it contains diverse ecological regions including coastal forest and brush, savanna grasslands, acacia woodlands, and highland moorland on Mount Kilimanjaro. This allows great wildlife diversity across parks and conservation areas. Tanzania has a population of over 65 million people, consisting of diverse ethnic, linguistic, and religious groups. The majority of Tanzanians live along the northern border with Kenya, along the coast, and near major cities like Dar es Salaam, there are over 120 ethnic groups in Tanzania. The largest group is the Sukuma who live around Lake Victoria and make up about 16% of the population. Other major groups include Nyamwezi, Makonde, Haya, Gogo, and Chaga peoples. Each group has their own language and cultural traditions, especially in music, dance, and artwork. Despite this diversity, Swahili is a common unifying language among groups. While over 120 languages are spoken in Tanzania, Swahili is the national language and the most widely spoken across all groups at over 90% of the population. Swahili is used in schools, government, and business. English is also an official language in Tanzania and used in higher education, tourism, and some government affairs. Other common languages are Arabic along the coast and various Bantu tongues like Nyamwezi and Gogo. About 60% of Tanzanians adhere to Christianity brought by missionaries during colonial times. Major denominations include Roman Catholic, Lutheran, Anglican, and Baptist. Another 35% of the population follows Islam, which has long been established along the Swahili coast. The remaining population hold indigenous beliefs like ancestor worship, or combine elements of Christianity or Islam with traditional practices. 
Religious tolerance and harmony is a hallmark of Tanzanian society. Tanzanian cuisine is influenced by Indian, Middle Eastern, and native African flavors and ingredients. Staple dishes vary across the country, but commonly include rice, ugali cornmeal, beans, plantains, and grilled meats or fish. Don't leave Tanzania without trying these mouth-watering dishes. The most ubiquitous food is ugali, a stiff porridge made from white cornmeal. Ugali is often served with colorful stews of tomatoes, onions, and spices paired with grilled meat or fish. Variations use cassava, millet, or sorghum flour instead. Ugali is perfect for grabbing a bite by hand when on the go. Pilau is a flavorful rice dish boiled in a seasoned broth with onions, garlic, ginger, cinnamon, cumin, and cloves. Meat or fish are stirred in for a delicious one-pot meal. Pilau brings Persian influences from trade routes to Tanzania's Swahili coast and comes in many regional variations. A quick tomato and onion salad known as kachumbari often accompanies heavier dishes as a light, refreshing accompaniment. The chopped veggies are tossed in lemon juice, cilantro, chili peppers, and served chilled or at room temperature for a zesty bite. As a sweet treat, try puffy fried dough balls called mandazi dusted with powdered sugar. Similar to donuts, mandazi oozes with coconut, caramel, chocolate, or peanut butter as a decadent dessert or snack. Enjoy with a cup of cinnamon-spiced Tanzanian coffee or chai tea for an afternoon pickup. Tanzania has a long and storied history stretching back over two million years to some of the first human ancestors. Various ethnic groups and sultanates rose and fell over the centuries until Tanzania came under European control in the late 1800s. They eventually gained independence peacefully in the 1960s. Some of the oldest human fossils ever discovered, dating back over two million years, have been located near Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania. Over the centuries, migration brought Nilotic and Bantu groups into the region establishing small kingdoms. Trade with places like Persia and China began around the 8th century CE along the Swahili coast. In the late 1800s, Germany established control of the mainland, calling it German East Africa, while Britain controlled the offshore islands of Zanzibar. This colonial rule brought Christian missionaries and Western education, while valuable resources were exploited. Local uprisings against colonialism were brutally suppressed over decades. After World War I, Germany's African colonies were given to European victors, so Britain now ruled Tanganyika while Portugal controlled neighboring Mozambique. Peaceful demonstrations eventually led Britain to grant Tanganyika full independence in 1961 under the leadership of Julius Nyerere. In 1964, the islands of Zanzibar united with Tanganyika to create modern-day Tanzania. Nyerere went on to lead Tanzania for decades, promoting his vision of African socialism, unity, and self-reliance among the country and continent. However, economic turmoil and crises like Uganda's IDI Amin invasion in 1978 led to many challenges for the young nation throughout the late 1900s. Today, Tanzania continues working towards development and stability. Tanzania has an emerging market economy based on agriculture, mining, tourism, gas and oil, and telecommunications. As of 2022, its GDP stands at around $75 billion according to World Bank data. Agriculture accounts for about 30% of Tanzania's GDP and employs over 65% of the workforce. Major crops include sisal, coffee, cotton, cashews, tea, and tobacco. Food crops are also grown such as maize, rice, wheat, and plantains. 
Efforts are underway to modernize agriculture, which relies heavily on rainfall versus irrigation. Only about 10% of Tanzania's workforce is employed in the industrial sector, which makes up around 25% of GDP. Key industries include agricultural processing, mining, telecommunications, banking, tourism, construction, steel, and cement. Abundant mineral resources are found across Tanzania, including gold, diamonds, coal, uranium, nickel, chrome, and more. The services sector has seen fast growth in recent decades, now accounting for over 45% of the nation's GDP, thanks largely to a boom in telecommunications and tourism. Over 1.3 million visitors come to Tanzania yearly to explore places like Mount Kilimanjaro, Zanzibar beaches, and Serengeti National Park, which boosts local economies. If you enjoyed this video on Tanzania, you'll love this next one.